Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Stephen here from tcdsgroup.com and it is a beautiful Monday morning and we are in back up at Belfast up at the docks here about to head in on site to DFDS and Sainsbury's to deliver yard shutter training on site yard shutter training so I also have a number of assessments to do and new staff general training as well so this is where we are this morning guys it is Monday we're gonna try and vlog this week as best we can we have a hell of a lot of stuff going on as usual Big focus this week on public inquiry work, big focus on on-site training, big focus on new staff induction and onboarding. For a number of our companies, not just TCTS Group, but also TLS, which is Transport and Logistics Services Limited. You know, I think bringing a lot of new staff on, what we try and do is we bring them on in groups and then we put them through our induction training and then we put them through assessment and them skilled up as best we can. We're still in a position, unfortunately, guys, that we just cannot go to the chef and take off who we need. Whether it's for transport compliance officers or train and development guys or vehicle inspectors and examiners, they're just, you know, they're just not there in that package. So we have to pump a lot of resources and time and money back into getting, you know, guys trained up and getting the standard that we require. But again, you kind of have to do that. You have to, you know, I suppose, dedicate your time to your staff and because you're dedicating your time to your client and to your customer. But what also has happened this week, we have um, a number of Branton meetings to brand our new compliance software, our industry changing global software, guys. And the big launch will be coming soon. Very, very exciting times with that. We have to move on with the next stage of the the, the, the development side of the software, which again, is, it's, it's very exciting guys. It was needed out here within the whole industry, whether it's transportation, logistics, warehousing, health and safety, emergency services, um, everything and anything. But you know where it is. Jump onto our website at www.tctsgroup.com. Anyway, as I say guys, it's an absolute beautiful um, morning here. Maybe we can jump out of a second. It's six thirty, and we're just going to get on site. Lift one of our guys, get on site, get everything set up, get the classroom bit done for the guys, and then of course out on site to do the practical, which is over four days because it is a novice course at the moment. And then pop out. Number of calls to take as usual. We will then be down the road this evening for another meeting. A new client, a new customer, very very large customer that I done work for um, about three years ago. We terminated them three, but two years ago. We brought them back on and we had a very open discussion with them that the level of compliance was no good and um, that their level of health and safety was no good their training was no good all the usual but we have to find the problem guys and then and then cut that problem out or eradicate that problem and it was with two members of staff so the agreement was very simple their liability on your company eradicate them get rid of them and we'll go in and we'll sort everything else out and you know they've seen already a massive increase <laughs> in productivity, in compliance, staff retention, driver retention even, you know, and sometimes, you know, companies need an independent specialist to come in really and say that, and we don't pussyfoot right, we don't stroke egos, we don't say, oh, God love you, is everything okay? We show you what the problem is, and then we fix what the problem is. And while that's eradication of people, getting them sacked, no, nobody really cares. They're that irrelevant because they're a liability on the company. And it's no different than ourselves, guys, you know, we bring in outside professional help um, for the likes of HR, and you know business development and things like that and that's what they're there for so anyway let's get this day up and going guys happy monday everybody will be on me wanna join me when i take a shot i'll be the center of attention like i was some kind of astronaut cause i'm shooting for the moon tonight and i got a feeling i'm gonna crash some stupid party tear the ceiling down and Everybody, if someone's pouring up a drink, I'm calling shot. 
Stephen here from tctsgroup.com. Uh, it is just after 5 a.m. in the morning, and we're back in Belfast here. Um, Head over on site to deliver uh, yard shutter training to DFDS and Sainsbury's. So we have two of our guys out on site this morning, two of our trainers, two of our assessors. So I'm going out now to assess the assessor because the question I always ask in regards of auditing and continuity is who pleases the police. So going out to do that, guys. They will have a very important software meeting and uh, meeting with a new Branton company as well for our software which is coming out now very soon guys you know to follow us on this there's a full standalone compliance monitoring and workflow management software which is an absolute game changer so you can see my nose all red there because I've been sunburned standing out on the yard um, <laughs> delivering training for the last couple of days anyway it's just after 5 a.m we need to get going I'll speak to you later Stop, yeah, yeah, I can't wait to hear that bass drop dance It's all I wanna, wanna do right now Oh, oh, oh. everybody will be on me, wanna join me when I take a shot Alrighty folks, so, just out on site here Um, trying to sort out a number of bits of PPE Um, a lot of wetsuits and all as well for her guys out on site But as you can see what we're doing here at the moment is we have the trainers out here, shunter training going on here out on site. We have one trainer, we have two trainer and assessor, and then our delegates from the middle shift. So this is one of the guys. <clears throat> I think that's something to, to just remember here, guys. We have a guy up behind us here who three days ago didn't know what a tug was, didn't know what a shunter was, didn't know how to get into it, started, hook into a trailer, and as you can see, he has He's now starting to get into the bears. Nice fluid motion, one movement at every time. And um, they're going up for assessment. We've already done, I don't know, many testing today, so we'll get everything on, on up on time. Anyway, need to get on, need to run from this side here. Make sure these guys are okay. Go down, we're doing an investigation engineer's report for a trailer that went and fire for another client in Lisburn. Um, where else have we? We have, I think John's up on the other end of Donegal at the moment. We have again Cookstown, again Dungannon, and then we'll have four four GB jobs on today including uh, unannounced inspection so anyway let's get at it alrighty folks we are in now into another morning and we have to do a bit of vehicle what would you call it shuffle and get a lot of things sorted out so there's one of our, our vehicles, our crew vehicles, Combi Volkswagen T6.1. Check our video out, but as you can see, it's an absolute mess. And everything was thrown in uh, for a, a response call out for a collision investigation job. We had a bit of training at the weekend, everything's threw in, so now I have to move a lot of this over. And on that note, we are looking to increase our, our vehicle fleet, our, our mobile transport compliance officers and trainers and vehicle examiners. So we usually like to go for the likes of these vehicles here and the main reason is because you just take the seats out of them and throw stuff in but some days it's better than some days it's easier than others doing that if there's anybody watching this youtube jump down in the comments below leave us a link leave us a tag and let's get the conversation started that way but anyway we are heading for Derry Lutton Derry again two clients to see up there one new client two two already established clients and we have to go and serve them so anyway let's get it going Alrighty folks, so we are out on site conducting random unannounced fleet inspections uh, to fleet for one of our clients here in Northern Ireland and 
as you can see we have trap down in there conducting a uh, vehicle examination roadworthiness inspection so remember guys continuity inspections are absolutely vital in this road because your main provider can do so much and a lot of the time we're coming across more and more failing to maintain cases and because we're getting failing to maintain cases obviously you know that's that's prosecution court cases as well as public inquiries so what systems and control measures do you have in place and like of our basic fleet inspection work which is our six week eight week ten week twelve week inspections that's one thing and then we do our unannounced um continuity inspections so as you can see here let me just see can you make sure these boys are doing a bit of work so we have our man and um, one of our vehicle examiners out so i'm out inspecting vehicles here today as well guys um, and then i'm going in to do the maintenance audit going through the paperwork going through the parts going through the whole compliance end of it daily walk around checks rectification and um, wheel torque logs uh, and this is the difference this is what differs us from everybody else you know we do this on the ground stuff um as well as in the office the representation the whole thing so as an expert witness this is where it all comes from guys as you know as being you know a fleet engineer automotive engineer as well as a forensic vehicle examiner down into compliance you know don't worry about being ex vosa don't worry about anything like that this is where our guys as you can see are on the ground doing the work anyway we'll touch base later on so another friday which means staff lunches it's no wonder there's no profit in this game feeding this crowd but anyway Let's get it up and going. Anyway guys, it is Friday here. Um, we have a barbecue in the Cherry Tree in Liston Ski on a Friday. So if we're in the office, some of us are, some of us aren't. But if I'm about, we'll always get the guys lawn. So we have guys down here. Doing a bit of lawn work down at the back. Stemming hedges, cutting grass, baling hay, all the usual. So that's when we know it really is summertime. Anyway, it is Friday, it is lunchtime. We need to feed these boys and we'll chat in a bit. Pop in here now at the moment. We have Ben, flat out and tech graphs, vehicle inspection examination working on here. Adam, what are you up to? I'm doing standard operating procedures, Stephen. So, um, what does that mean? It's for um, SOPs for the drivers to make sure that there's a standardized way of them carrying out their activities. So it minimizes the risk and any damages and the accidents in the workplace for the drivers. So it does. Alrighty, so it's a safe operating procedure, documented fluid document, yes? Yeah. Fluid document, guys, means that um, it can be adjusted at any time and must be reviewed either at least every 12 months or if there's any um, changes made in operational procedures, whether there's new equipment brought on board, maybe new safety devices, um, all that sort of stuff as well, you know. We also have vehicle inspection reports being banged out today and engineers reports as well. So as you know, guys, our vehicle fleet inspection division, um, that's what it's all about, going out on site, doing your safety inspections, whether it's four, six, eight, 10, 12 weeks, continuity inspections, uh, quality control inspections, uh, vehicle examination, expert witness, engineer's reports, you know the crack, all that sort of stuff that we do. Over here as well we have Ben, he's stuck in doing a bit of, what's he today, marketing? A bit of marketing and content as well as tachograph analysis and scanning uh, analog charts. So that's all you're at today Adam? Yeah. Right, good job boys, keep up the good work and we'll go and I'm gonna go for a meeting in the kitchen to have an ice cream out of the fridge. Anyway, that is all. Alrighty folks, it is now Sunday and we have been stuck here at home in one of our offices for the last couple of hours, three or four hours now, uh, catching up on all of our, all of our workflow really, um, between our associates, our agents, our own full-time staff for TCTS Group, TCTS Ireland, TCTS Aviation, um, Transport Logistics Services Limited, um, Bedford Properties, Bedford Holdings, all of the all of the stuff that we have going on, and of course you know people when they when they come in and see me, a lot of the time they'll hear something playing in the background, and um, you know I try and listen to a lot of podcasts, I try and listen to a lot of audio books, um, I watch and listen to a lot of YouTube, um, so I had actually Jim Shark playing in the background here today. And my son came back and just happened to ask me, you know, what this guy was talking about. And it was very, very interesting of the expansion into different markets. And also from Sherry Hamilton, which is the COO of um, Grand Cardone Enterprises. So, you know, very, very, I'm always intrigued by people like that. Uh, just really of how they've come into the business, how they got into the business. And especially at the moment when we're 
expanding out, looking for CEOs of the group and COOs and CFOs and you know we're looking for very very senior management as well so anyway guys it's been a long 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 ass week and um, it's been the heat has been unreal here in Ireland the UK and all of you guys have been struggling this week <clears throat> both inside the office and outside of the office on site um, delivering and providing services so as I say it is Sunday this morning we jumped into the Jeep and went down and got a coffee a cup of tea actually and a McDonald's bacon bap and then back home for a couple of very quick zoom calls i can usually do it via the whatsapp voice messages but things got a wee bit out of um, control today so we had to just knuckle in and get it done and this is what a lot of people always you know think that running businesses and owning businesses and you know you have systems in place and streams of revenue streams of income and yes that's fair enough after you get into a, um, a certain way of going and more importantly you have to you're responsible for everything and everybody and the problem with running businesses um it, we're running one business even is that it's a very very lonely place you are at the very top and you have nobody to look up and ask ask advice from or ask questions from um but everybody else below you can always look up to ask because you are the i suppose the end in the end in the line yeah anyway Tell you what's going to happen now, guys. I'm going to get out of here, put a pair of shorts on, jump into the van, and um, probably grab Natalie as well. We're going to go out to the marina, jump onto our boat, and get up the water for some fresh air and cool down a wee bit, which will be absolutely awesome. <laughs> get a bit of audio at this stage so with the Hare Krishna Island on our starboard side which is our right side over there now I would usually say at this stage clowns and jet skis but I spent nearly 10 years 12 years jet skis so it depends the day of driving them really most of the time as you can see a couple of kids out in the ring enjoying themselves the father on it good man on a ski there the way that he is a trimmed nice and easy so this is where the Hare Krishna um, cot they're called and it transports over if you can see it I'm not too sure and the GoPro picks it up as close but it's a cot and it brings over all the supplies over here to the island you might be fit to see these two coming off through the rowing boat and they bring over supplies which include vehicles you know food um, gas water, heating oil, oil for maintenance, maintenance tools and over here in this car park is where a lot of people will park to get the cut back and forth to the island. Alrighty folks, so as promised we have just left the office we're right now in the beautiful upper lock of Lock Erin. The sun is splitting the stones, it's 27.5 degrees so right here on the bed liner Capri, Natalie up the front doing a bit of droning. She's a drone up in the air. Uh, running at a 4.3 Veracruz V6 engine. Lovely boat. Lovely boat for, you know, as I said, six people. One, two, three, four, five, six cup holders. And these seats here pull out to lounge chairs or loungers as well cubby hole in here with um, a bed for two and then we have the bow at the front of the boat so we have guys over here all moored up or anchored up just to get a bit of sun a bit of diving we have guys over here doing the same getting ready for some skiing banana boats I'm not sure if you can see the, the drone up there and over at the jetty so So that's it guys, we're just gonna chillax here for a minute onto the dive board, diving platform at the back. Not sure if you can see it or not, and see then what we can do. So that's the end of this vlog guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we thought we'd put a wee bit of 
downtime in it as well because it is very important to have downtime and as you know yourself and these that are run businesses it's so so hard to get downtime and to plan it in really but when you're living somewhere like this here you know no matter lockdown or not for a long long time we've been on the water jet skis speedboats you know cruisers the higher cruisers here are unreal you know people might think they're expensive at anywhere between a thousand pound and fifteen hundred pound for a week but if you put that into a six berth or an eight berth with we'll say two or three families split the cost of it it's absolutely worth it anyway thank you so much for watching guys and um, hit the subscribe button hit the like buttons 